Alrighty, so today we are on Gon's account, which means uh, we have 17.8 million bot CC. We looked at that in the last video, but today we are going to be messing around with Zahard a little bit because, uh, you know, it just kind of be interesting to see how much better he may be uh, when you have him 6'6 and everything. So with his account, obviously we do have him completely maxed out here. Uh, surprisingly, I thought he was on an attack crit damage set at first because it looked like it, but he was actually using his Philo's gear. He actually went HP defense as well, which is what I went. So that's actually kind of interesting. Um, I kind of want to try him on attack crit but just because this is the set that he gave him i'm going to mess around with this for maybe a couple of games uh, this is the team that we started with in my sort of like no uh costume or no paid costumes sort of showcase so i'm going to use this for two games and then in that showcase if you did not see it already you can go check that out it's already up on the channel uh, i did swap to frayer after a couple of games so i think i'm going to do that as well after two games because I did not maybe like how squishy the Gother was it was uh, it was not great in that regard um, I am going to be using CC food here I do think that maybe going second is kind of good with uh, with Zahard but the problem being um, I uh, with with this account with 17.8 mil box CC the, the CC is going to be pretty high either way, and because we're already on Challenger, and I'm not really going to have the greatest chance of fighting real players, more than likely I'm not going to be able to go second regardless. So we're just going to go CC food. We're just going to we're going to lean into the CC. We're going to try to go first, I guess, every single time. Which um, I don't know. We'll see how that goes because we we do get good damage reduction on turn one. Our single target will be boosted on turn two. So we'll see. Um, he is killing my tear off very quickly. That is a bit unfortunate. He has... Um, hmm, I don't have a way to debuff, actually. So that's quite bad. Who? He has green Sario Link. Actually, I think that's red Sario Link. He just has the, the final boss costume on. Let's go ahead and see this. I really want to seal him as well, but I think I'm just going to merge these because I would love to get a level 3 here. I have immunity on with this buff, so I do have that going for me. Like Even if he uses his all creation against my Zahard, I'm not going to... I'm not going to die, so that's good. Uh, he does have stats popped here. I guess the, <laughs> the best case scenario for me here is he does a lot of damage to Zahard, which it looks like he is. So I get down to 0 HP, or 1 HP technically. Um, he is encroaching me, actually. The encroachment is a bit troublesome. Luckily, I can use two cards here. So I think we... Okay, it actually got rid of it because I cleansed, because I now have King's Resolve. So... I have low HP, which is great. If you don't know, for every HP or 1% HP that I'm missing... Not good. Uh, for every 1% HP that I'm missing, I gain 1% crit damage. Um, <laughs> problem with that was, I didn't do anything to Demon King there. I'm actually not sure why. Because I, I wasn't affected by any debuffs or anything. I, I'm I'm kind of baffled by that one. I'll be honest. I just don't even I don't know what went wrong there. Um, hmm. That that sure is something. He he's so hit or miss, man. He, he either does really good. Oh, that was a real player, or he does really bad. So let me grab a couple more tickets. We'll do one more with Gother, and then I'm gonna swap him because I actually had a lot better results with Freyer on the team. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this setup. Alrighty. Oh, okay. I respect it. He's using Nebula Zeldris, which I almost never see anyone do, actually. Um, I kind of want to just try to get rid of the Estorosa here, if possible. Use that, I guess. I could potentially save the rank up for turn two. Because if I do that, I can maybe 
draw an extra card, merge that, rank it up, then use it. Um, and then that way I can have a much higher... Yeah, see, like if I would have drew this, or if I would have... If I would have went with the, the rank up turn two, this would have merged. This would have already been a level two. I could have ranked it up, used a level three. I'm, I don't know. It's always kind of a gamble. You're either not going to rank up turn one and run the risk of potentially goth or dying, which I do have the taunt turn one with uh, with uh, with my, my big man here. So that's at least somewhat nice. I did disable myself. Um... I guess I'm just gonna throw these away. Let's use the level one into the level two. I think maybe if I go level two, I could potentially just kill straight up. I think it might have, but I just don't want to run the risk of it not killing him, gaining too much HP back, and then me disabling my Zahar, which I guess it wouldn't have been that big of a deal because I cleanse every time I, I move to the next debuff. Um, No way. Is he actually... I Wait. No, it's just because he doesn't have Demon King. I completely forgot about the Estorosa commandment. That is maybe a little troublesome, actually. I don't see a lot of people actually trying to counter Zahard. But, it's unfortunate I can't use this now. Um, mm. Okay, we live that. But, at this point, I don't think I get King's Resolve. I think I'm literally screwed. <laughs> Yeah, so that is a that is an issue. I, you know, I've I've not played with this guy too much yet, so that is that is definitely on me. But without King's Resolve, this is going to be bad. That is something. <laughs> Literally zero crits without it. Insane, actually. I'm I'm not trying to showcase how bad he is. I'm really not. That was a complete. That was a misplay on my part, 100%. But let me swap the Freyr. I really just don't like the uh, the Gother set. As much as it's really cool that he does extra damage per per card, like like rank, uh, it just it's just not for me. All right, we have a Merlin set up. Um, he is running Tarmio Link, which is a bit troublesome. I think we go with maybe the single target here and just try to get some damage off on the the melee because he has Tarmio link it's going to be kind of troublesome i really don't think zahard is going to be able to kill on turn two like the single target is cool and all but realistically i just <laughs> don't see it actually killing so making sure i don't disable anybody Unfortunately, he is going to crit chance lower tier here. Crit chance lowering tier is is very unfortunate too, because that basically makes tier useless. Like I I, <laughs> I don't really like to use that word for characters, but um, he is 100% crit based. Like if you if you don't have crits on him, he is uh, he's dropping off pretty hard. So uh, with uh, luckily with Freyr's ult or uh, passive and holy relic, he we're gaining 15% extra damage on single targets and 15% basic stats, which is super nice. So let's go for, I guess, just something like this. Get closer to these two maybe merging. Okay, 243 is not the worst. Obviously, the Tarmiel Link is going to be kind of a hindrance there. No crits on either of these two, which, uh, you know, it was expected for him to not crit. And then I don't know what... Freyr's crit chance is, but we didn't use the cleave card there, so technically we could have crit. Um, Alright, tier goes down, which is a bit unfortunate. If, if you can keep tier on the field, it would be preferred, because his berserk does go to his teammates, so you could actually get more damage off with your um, you know, Zahard there. Okay, actually not gonna hate on the crits there, because like I said, the lower HP I am, the better off I might be damage-wise. Uh... Ooh, this is going to be kind of a tough call here, I think. Let's go for the AoE, of course. And I don't have really good cards with anybody else, so I kind of need this to do some decent damage. 514. I feel like I was... I mean, I'm still on HP defense. We're going to swap him to the attack crit set after this, because, I mean... Is it really going to help that much? I think it I think it definitely will help 100%. But I don't... I mean... I don't know. Obviously, he's a damage dealer. 
it's gonna help. I don't know what I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> rationalize this some, for some reason. Uh, I mean he's dead regardless. Unless, nah, that kills. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's change him to Philo's set because I'm pretty sure it's a 15% set uh, on attack crit, and then we can maybe see some better damage here. Alrighty, we have a demon team, which uh, take it or leave it. We get extra stance cancel. Why? Why would you forfeit? I'm not. <laughs> trust me, I'm not. A I'm not a threat. I swap to HP food instead of CC, just because it's gonna make me look a little, little less menacing, maybe. Okay, really good turn one merge. I like that. Let's go for. Maybe the kill on Esterosa, if possible. Getting rid of Esterosa is quite nice. I think this actually might kill, and then the cleave card should go on to a separate character. Nice. So now he's only going to get two orbs, which is good. That's going to help us deal more damage. Okay, goes on to Melee, which I'm actually... I think I'm pretty happy with. Uh, more than likely, we're going to be able to kill with this, this turn. Ooh, level three. I really want to see it. I really do. So I think we're going to end up merging there. Might... Ah, it might be better to not do that. Well, he's back at full health anyway. I don't think there's going to be much I can do about um, killing Demon Team or Demon King this turn. So, okay, mm Tier doing uh, pretty decent there. Um, see, I could go for like level two, level one, and then try to kill him off with like a level one, so that way he can only use one card. That probably is the better scenario. It's pretty unlikely you're going to get a level 3 unless you're using Gother anyway. Maybe this is like the more realistic way of showing it. And it's the safer bet for me, realistically. So, how much is this? Okay. Well, this guy's been taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure if I can actually like say 100%. But, I do think that the attack crit set is helping a ton here. I, I just kind of think that maybe... Maybe Zahard is one of those characters. Like, there's there are there are a couple of characters in the game that do just they shine a lot better in ungeared for whatever reason. Um, I don't know if it's like a stats thing or whatever the case may be, but um, there's a, there's just a couple of characters that do much better in in the scenario where you're not in geared PvP for some reason. So, uh. That's a bit disappointing. For some reason, the AoE, I mean, I know we're full health. If we would have taken basically any damage at all, it would have been much better there. Uh, he can kill me here. Uh, he does kill me here. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm so on the fence with this guy. It's crazy. <laughs> like, he's so cool. He's got some really cool stuff going. It's very interesting as a kit. I just... He, the, the results are so inconsistent. It's It sucks. Like, not, you know, he doesn't suck, necessarily. He's inconsistent, which is the part that sucks. But he, he kind of sucks. Let me, let me grab maybe two more tickets. I don't know. Alrighty. We have Sin's team. Green, I assume. Green? Yep, green. Okay. Um... Unfortunately, with this team, we do put the debuff on turn one. So, it might be worth it to try to kill King off here. And try to just prevent him from getting as many debuff uh, cleanses for the orbs here. So, we're going to try to kill him first. We surprisingly do a pretty good job there. Uh, good damage out on Bon. He does have the Tarmiel Link on. Okay. We have a pretty good setup here. Going into, like, this, even if he crit chance lowers me, which he is, we'll have a good level 2 here to use. Maybe... I don't know if it would be better to just merge these. Because he's not going to crit. It's not going to do a lot of damage. I don't know. Um, do I go for Melly though, is the question. Like, I really want to go for Melly. He's probably going to die. Ah, maybe we just go for Bon here. 
Because if we go for Bomb, we'll get rid of some of the damage reduction. He, we will get rid of the uh, the Mark of Concentration. Okay, he actually had two crits in there. That's actually surprising. Level two, can I kill? No crit. The no crit is really bad. <laughs> like, really bad. Like, I know that we have a lot better crit chance on um, Zahard. So that's going to be really good. Him attacking Zahard here is fantastic, actually. This is perfect. Uh, okay. Another AoE. Okay. Wait. How did he kill me there? He actually has Esterosa's Commandment on. Insane. I actually screwed myself there. I'm not even looking for it. It's one of those things that, like, you just don't even think about it. That's so bad. Okay, well, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> God. See, I feel so stupid now, but, I mean, it's just one of those things you're going to have to actually, like, be conscious of if you're trying to use this character, which also sucks. Like, mo like nine times out of ten, you're not going to find somebody actually using that. Like, just realistically, people aren't using Estorosa's Commandment on Melee, but on the off chance that they are, that's definitely going to be a big hindrance to his kit. Like, a big hindrance. So, if, um, you know, if that happens or whatever, that sucks. Like, that's this one extra thing that's going to make it harder to use the heart. Like, I mean, you can play around it, but you just, you, you got to be conscious and know that it's on the field first, which is the problem. Uh... I don't know... I don't know if this is going to one-shot melee. I actually kind of doubt it. I kind of wanted to hit somebody else with it, so that way it could have potentially killed two. 56k? Are you kidding me? Was he disabled? No, he's not disabled. What happened? Embarrassing. All right. Is this blue king? No, this is green king. It's a stark contrast going from winning every game with the human team to losing <laughs> most games <laughs> with Zahard. It's actually kind of insane. I, like, I'm not trying to knock this guy. Obviously, some of these misplays are making him look a bit worse. I'm sorry about that. But it's just one of those things. Like, if you're just a regular player... Like me, I mean, just because I'm doing YouTube videos doesn't mean I'm some professional or anything like that. It just, you know, you're going to run into this kind of problem. And <laughs> this is with 17 mil box CC. Like, I've got insane stats and stuff like that comparatively. It's just... Uh, it's just disappointing how, how hard it is to make him, you know play correctly you know what i mean like it, it sounds so simple like oh you tank harder turn one you use single targets turn two you use aoe's turn three it sounds simple but there's just so many factors going into it unfortunately that it's just uh it just makes it so inconsistent it just makes it rough um well do i just maybe i'm gonna push for his ultimate here <laughs> i'm gonna go for it because honestly we do have the 6-6 ultimate i'd like to see it if possible there's a crit, 253. He's going to cleanse that disable off, unfortunately. I do have immunity here, so that is good. Um, he won't be able to kill me. Plus, since I have the ultimate, maybe they'll target him, which would be nice. He doesn't have a way to ult removal me. Um, and he won't be able to get the stun off turn one. I like in one turn with Merlin here, so doesn't really matter. I would, I'm would. i going to cleanse off the extra effects anyway on turn two. Um, okay, AoE. This should deal... Yeah, really good damage. Does kill my tier off, unfortunately. Would have actually killed Zahard off here. Um, but, you know, I have immunity for that. Or immortality. Sorry, not immunity. I want to see the ultimate since I have it. It's also an AoE, so it should be getting the 100% extra crit chance and everything. Such a cool ultimate too. Is it is it the unknown team? Is the unknown team just this inconsistent? I really can't tell. After that Freyer ultimate doing so little, I'm really surprised I didn't just 
you know, 100% kill. That was actually a real player, too. Ah, man. I'm going to call it there. I'm so sorry. If this was, if you were, you know, upset that I, I did some misplays and stuff like that, honestly, I think it just adds to the fact that it, he's just that, you know, inconsistent. You know, the, the, the Estorosa commandment is something that you don't really have to play around most of the time. So people, you know, actually getting some use out of it is 100% cool on their part. Uh, I think that it's, you know, very commendable that they're actually, you know, using it to its potential. But, I don't know. He's just he's just so inconsistent, man. I'm sorry. If you're, like, a big fanboy of the character and you, you, you really wanted me to, you know, do him properly, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. But, like, I try to keep the showcases realistic. And, realistically, <laughs> he's just not going to work most of the time. I don't know. I'm going to try a bunch of other, you know combos with him potentially like or I, I say a bunch but we'll try some t different teams out we'll try to make him work but for the most part he's just he's hard to use he really is and at least in this meta i don't know if it'll potentially get better but um we'll see thanks for watching <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed it they uh, i don't know subscribe if you want to uh, and then come back and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll maybe do some, some better stuff with it. If you have a better team, if you are getting consistent results out of it, 100%, tell me what team you're using. I'll use the team. I'll try my best to, like, test it out beforehand. I'll try to get used to the team a little bit. I'll use him. We'll, we'll try our best to get some, some good-looking showcases for him. It's just, you know, this is only the second, second set of matches that I'm doing with him. So I'm new to using him. But so far, he's not looking great. I'll see you guys later.